Hi guys and welcome to episode 13 of our Mass Effect Legendary Edition Renegade playthrough. Um, so in the last episode we finally saved Tally and finished her off some side missions. We also picked up a side mission for Samesh Batia um, because they would not release his wife's body after she was killed on Eden Prime. We are now headed to Citadel Tower um, to speak with the council about the evidence that Tally gave us about Saren. So we're going to do that just now and then we have just a few more things to finish off here on the Citadel. So I'm going to try and get everything finished in today's episode so that we can move off and start doing some other missions. <clears throat> Um, the plan is, so I've been trying to keep the videos to 15-20 minutes, however, if we are in the middle of a mission um, going forward, I will try and just finish off the mission in a video. I won't, like, cut it halfway. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Idiots. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. <laughs> Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward.
It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. We are no Spectre. Spectre. So, Spectre training. Elite agents of the Council, the Spectres, have access to special training unavailable elsewhere in the galaxy. Increases our health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks and powers. And grants the Unity ability. Which is good because that um, brings our squad back when they, you know, fall on their behind. Oh, we got more intimidate now. Doesn't really help us. Um, soldier, assault rifles. And of course, electronics and decryption. Okay, so like I said um, earlier, we do have a few more side missions just to pick up while we're here. So we are going to do that now. And there are two here, and then there's two that you get from taking no, I'm the waiting lift. To speak. So we're going to have to do some elevator rides. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Who told you I was a Spectre? I'm a senior officer with the Alliance. I knew about your candidacy before the Normandy was sent to Eden Prime. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll look for them if I have time. Well, that's more than most will commit to. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. Okay, so that's another off world one. Oops. Let's do that. Um, then there is, if we go down here, see that guy standing at the top of the stairs, Gareth. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? 
My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Okay, so that's another one that is off-world. Um, we do need to come back at some point to the Citadel um, a couple of times. We will be coming back a couple of times to look, pick stuff up and before the final mission as well we will be back here. Um, so we will come back to report in once we've done that one. So we're just going to take the lift and see if this um, triggers one of the other ones we can pick up while we're here. And then I think there's a couple still need to be done on... In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. That's one of them. As you can see they updated our journal. Then there's another one we can pick up. Welcome to the Presidium. Over in Allow the me to be your district. guide. Oops. Um. We can just run across. Let all races herald the glory. Oh, he's you. still there. Peachy, peachy. Like One we can pick up here that is another off-world one, and then there's another one that we get from a news report in the elevators, and then I think there's two we can do on the Citadel. So we'll pick up the ones we can that are off-world, and we'll Spectre. do the two that are on the Citadel in today's episode, and that means that next episode... Hello, Spectre. We'll I have a business world. proposition for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do, but this would be easy work for you and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome. Hurting innocent people. They must be ended. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. 
Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Just be lazy. Pop over. Here. So today's episode will be a bit longer than usual because I do want to try and finish up the Citadel stuff today. Um, and then move on. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel. And nope, that's not the one we want. Um, so yeah, I want to try and finish off the Citadel stuff today, so that next episode we can do the off-world stuff. The first one we'll do is to go and pick up our final team member, Liara, um, who is an Asari. So we will. Just head to the planet. The Gath are attacking, and everyone around here is still worried about ordinary business. Yeah. So that's not the one we want either. So we'll start pushing the future. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go so there are two missions to do on the Citadel, so we'll just go and do them quickly now while we're here. So there should be one with Dr. Michelle. Um, who we met earlier when we did Gaddises. No, oh, no. I never properly thanked you for saving Maybe me from facing bugs, Commander. First. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Stick to medicine. You're not cut out for dealing with people like Fist. That's good advice. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Aid stuff. So a few things over here. Okay, so hopefully if we go back out and then come back in, it might trigger her new mission. You too, come on. We'll go and do the other one first and then we'll come back to that one. Hopefully we'll be able to do it even though we're a spectre now. Tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe, but this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course, nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Let's go play some quizzes. It's not what I do. Oh, look, it's Jenna. Hi, 
Jenna. Hey there, welcome to Flex. And of course we're gonna play that high stakes. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. I'm always lucky. Your luck seems unnatural, human. No. It's fine. It's not unnatural at all. So we won 750 credits, not too shabby. So he's definitely getting a bit suspicious. Oh, we go and say hi to Nita. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Mm -hmm. Shot yourself in the foot with that one. Anyway. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. You enjoy those winnings. I'm going to get the system completed. I will. Okay. So that's that one done. Let's go and see if we can do Dr. Michelle's one now. And then we will finally have finished the Citadel. Gets stuck in your head that. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. <laughs> you in trouble again? Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Just tell me what's going on. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? They won't bother you again. I guarantee it. I see. Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. 
Don't worry, I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Yeah, I didn't need you to open your shop for me. Okay. So we just run down, take care of this, and then we might shoot over to see second look at the spectre requisitions we probably won't be able to afford anything yet anyway but we can still have a look uh, and then finally in the next episode we will be able to take this adventure off world Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Moreland. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? You're Leave the name. doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried. Or I bury you. Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. It's yes, so alright then. Good tidings sometimes. to you, human. Goodbye. I do love that you can kind of see Tally's face a little more under her mask now. You can see her eyes and the outline of her nose. Like before, it was just... Almost like, um, blacked out glass. That you couldn't see any of her features. I think it's cool that you can now see a bit more features. Tinted glass is what I was looking for. Um, okay, so we'll go and speak to Dr. Michelle and then head to Seasick to speak to the requisitions officer. And then. Episode. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. I wonder if the Captain knows him. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Okay. So that is us now done all of the side missions on the Citadel. If picked up all but one to do off-world, so hopefully we'll get that one in one of the, the lifts that we take. I've heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you... No. And seasick, and then I want to go down and see the requisitions officer. So he's down these stairs here, where we found the final keeper that we could not find. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? 
Who wants to know? Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Yeah, so the Spectre gear is the best stuff in the game. Unfortunately, it costs a lot of money. And if this is anything like my personal Paragon playthrough, these are going to disappear. Um, it wasn't until we came back the final time that I was able to buy the most expensive stuff, like the, the high ranking stuff, um, because it, there's apparently a bug in the game. Don't know if it'll happen with this playthrough, but we can see. But yeah, this stuff is expensive. However, you do end up with a lot of money. Um, we'll buy the license and a grenade upgrade. Um, you do end up with a lot of money. And that's because you never really have to buy anything other than those Spectre weapons um, and the odd upgrade. Um, because a Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. That's not the one we wanted either. Okay, what I'm going to do is leave the episode there before we go and talk to Adina and um, Anderson we have now been going for just over half an hour um, and I will ride the elevator a few times try and pick up this final mission between recordings um, so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have then please give it a like and a comment down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure your notification bell is on so that you don't miss any future videos thanks bye